everyone, AMR back again with another chess video. So in today's episode, I will be doing a puzzle rush. So if you are new to the channel, it's pretty much you just play until you get your three strikes and out, similar to like baseball. Um, and you start out at a very, very low elo, and then you get better and better. So um, I've been pretty decent at this lately. Um, I've been really grinding on my other account which is like uh it's like a lie chess or lee chess i don't really understand how to say it but that's essentially what that is uh i've been playing fairly well on that so i'm hopeful that this will actually turn out to be fairly decent so here we go i think i'm gonna go here let's just checkmate now that i think about it i guess it was i didn't really think too much um it just kind of felt instinctual uh so this one's gonna be an easy check mate just by going here i mean he is going to push that right there um, but that's really his only out at this point he has everything else blocking him in completely um, and then i had the bishop covering that diagonal so next up here we have this protected by that so we don't have to worry about moving it at all if we don't want to um, but that being said i think what we want to do is we want to keep pushing the uh, king back further and further so next up here <clears throat> so next up here it's going to be a very similar thing that we saw this is what we call a mating pattern whenever you see three pawns directly in front of the king there's nowhere for the king to escape there's no diagonals to worry about and the only pieces that can prevent it from happening are these rooks which are you know luckily for us not stacked up on one another that's one of the reasons why stacking your rooks is so important in chess so here we have a white to move so this is under pressure right here. I think that if I put this right here, it's automatically checkmate because the king cannot come out to either ones because this right here is protecting. Just want to make sure really quick that there's nothing going to be able to prevent that from happening. I don't think so, and I think it is checkmate. So next up, we have white. Again, like I mentioned earlier, this is what we call it the mating pattern. Um, you have to be a little careful, though. I don't think that it's going to be your typical one. I think I have to push this right here. Pushes the king over that way. Then we push down. This takes. And then we just push forward with our uh, knight. <clears throat> our, our rook, actually. So the, the king can't escape. It's being blocked in. Um, and then you have the uh, battery set up here. So sacrifice the queen. Place the rook there. And it is an easy checkmate. So been doing fairly well so far. So... Okay, just like we talked about earlier, again, got the mating pattern, push the king over so that way it can't escape. Pushing that there, sacrifice the queen, go ahead and move the rook down. Very, very simple. Um, it, it is going to get a lot harder here, um, but what they try to do is they try to instill these habits in you like immediately so that way it just becomes secondhand nature when you are in like an actual game. So keep that, with, keep that in mind here. Um... So interestingly enough, I think that this is going to be checkmate right here because you have the queen blocking this and the rook can't go down because then the queen will be, um, be the queen will be putting it in check. So you have a pinned piece there and that'll be a checkmate. So the best I've ever gotten on this, um, for those of you that are new, I've only gotten up to 28, I want to say. I don't think I've gotten any higher than that. So I think what I want to do now, let's see. I think I push here. It pushes the king back there. And then I push here. And then it should be queen goes there. I take. Let's see. Push him back. Take the rook. Queen comes there. Take it. Checkmate. Perfect. So black to move here. So, hmm. Once it starts getting a little harder, um, you, you'll start to see me start to talk a little bit more. And it, it's going to get hard pretty quick. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think what the correct move here is to push this there. It protects your, your rook here. But I think more importantly, it allows you to stack. Yeah. Actually... How is this going to work? I push there. Oh, no. Let's go straight here. Is that right? That looks good. 
I don't know what my mind was doing, but it was not the correct solution by a long shot. So I think I want to push here to which I will take, and then I'll take the piece. I think that's right. Push there, take here, he takes, we take the rook. Rooks are worth five points, whereas knights and bishops are both worth three points. So it is very important to understand what the true value of pieces are early on so that way you can understand what a fair trade and what a not fair trade is and you really never want to trade pieces whenever you're um, behind if you have a point advantage then by all means go for it um otherwise try to refrain from doing so so right now we're in check um i think that if we go here we had the protection right there um the only downside is is that we're not putting the queen in direct danger so i think what we actually want to do here what i just talked about about being in a point advantage i think i actually want to put my queen right here forcing the trade and then we can go ahead and take with our bishop and then we're just two bishops versus a knight i feel like that's going to be the best move and it's not actually so that's fun um that sucks i mean i felt pretty confident about that one it's it seemed like a very simple straightforward trade there uh but i think i'm going to go ahead and push here putting the king in check the king will be forced back at which point we will push our bishop right there is that right i don't know let's go here first okay so we got that part yeah, okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take our rook and we want to put our rook right here. King can't escape. Um, you have the knight blocking both of those squares and then you have the rook blocking the entire file. There's nothing that can happen to, to get in the way and that'll be an easy checkmate there. I can't believe that I missed the 806 over here. Oh, kind of blocking. Sorry about that. Um, but I can't believe that I, that I missed this one right here. I wish I could... Maybe I'm able to go back after a, a little bit, but man, that like really pisses me off because these can get really, really challenging and it, it's not always like a simple, aha, like you're done type of thing. I think what the correct solution here is going to be to push this there, push the king back at which point you can then push this here and then I think it's checkmate. That there push this here king can't escape and that rook is still protected by your other knight perfect okay so doing you know as good as i kind of would have anticipated i don't yeah um i don't know it is what it is so let's see here I think what I want to do is I want to just take his knight, forcing some pressure on that queen right away. Mm, but then he takes my queen. Doesn't seem like a fair trade then. I think I take, he takes, I take, because then I'm up a piece at that point. That sounds right to me. I take, he takes, I take. Perfect. Okay. So I think by moving this right here, it's going to be a checkmate. The the rook will be the rook will be protected by the knight. Can't move here, it's too close to the queen or it's too close to the king. Can't move there because the knight also protects that square. Can't go there because of the rook. Can't go there because of the rook. And can't go there because of the rook. So I feel like this is going to be a checkmate. Okay. So I th think what we want. Let's see. So I feel like if we push here, I'm going to take with his rook which point we'll take with our queen our queen's protected by our bishop 
the king will be forced back to this square. At which point we can then push our queen one more and then there'll be a check. Does that sound right? Sounds right to me. There. Here. More. And then there is your checkmate. Okay. So I think checkmate is actually going to be right here. This, by putting the queen here, it protects all of these squares right here. It protects this diagonal as well. It's protected by the rook. So there's nothing that can happen there. The queen can only protect over here. So it's not going to be able to do much of anything. And I think it's checkmate. Okay. So... Looking through some of the attacks. Push that there. Queen can't go there. Go here. Can go there. So the important the important thing to remember here uh, there it is so putting the bishop here it'll be protected by your knight queen can't go there because the pawn can't go there because of the knight can't take because it has these two it can go it can't go there and it can't go here and it can't go there and then the bishop's going to control all of that so i think this will be best move here he's going to take will take easy peasy so we are at 20 right now um not too bad okay thinking about hmm i think what we want to do is we want to push this rook right there i i think that's right But what does that do for? Me? So he could put me in check right there. I think. Yeah, I think I want to put him in check. He pushes off. I have a free piece. We only have two spots that we can move. So if we go there, put us in check here. Or he can put us in check there. So I feel like we lose a piece go here put us in check there I mean he could do that anyway or he could put us in check there but we could take with our I feel like going here is a, is a loss of a piece so I feel like this has to be the yeah Got a little, uh, got a little sus right there. I wasn't, I wasn't too curious. I, I wasn't too sure of myself. Okay, so we have our two rooks stacked versus their two rooks stacked. We have a knight over here. So what I'm thinking is going to happen that if we push this here, we push this there. Just like thinking about all the different outcomes that you can go through. So, if we push the the rook there, or, why do I keep calling it the rook? If we push the knight there, then that puts the queen and this rook under pressure. So what I feel like what would happen would be that he'd probably move the queen, or he would just straight up take with his bishop. At what? Well, he can't take with the bishop because then his queen's exposed, and then we have yeah. I mean, this is. This seems like the right move right here. Getting him, getting this. Uh, 
So yeah, we have to move there because if we go here, then this pawn could end up taking. So we actually want to get this bishop out of the way to free up that square. Yep. So now, since he has a way to protect if we take his queen, but we don't, I feel like the right move is to take with our queen. And now we have a free piece of, well, let me think about this for a sec. So we want to take with our bishop to his bishop first, and then we take the rook, because if we take with our rook first, well, yeah, if we take with our rook first, then he can move the bishop to block. So I think that we want to take here first. What the? F no chance. No chance. Uh-uh. I don't believe in that. Mm-mm. Okay, so I feel like best is going to be right here. We pin that knight. Any possible way that that queen could put there to block, but this is definitely going to be the best move. You have this rook right there. Yeah, for sure. It's getting pretty challenging. I'm not going to lie. There's been a couple of like just crazy close call i i cannot believe i cannot believe that we got that one incorrect unbelievable i think i want to take here he'll take there we'll take here he has to move that queen now but then we're just up a piece because we have this protected here so i feel like that's the right call but I didn't even like think about that being in. Well, I think that we have to take his queen. Let's think about this. I don't know. The obvious move here has to be taken. What I'm, what I'm concerned with is that it's going to do stupid shit. Say like, oh, you should have took that piece. I'm pretty sure that this is the right move. Push that there. <clears throat> Doesn't move. We take another piece? Like, confused. I was really hoping that this would not be the case. Like, I, I really don't want to have to. I think I take this piece. You have to. Because if he moves this, then I just get another, I get another piece. Now I get to take. Ooh. Up to 1369 ELO here. So it's definitely getting a little hot. Let's think about this. Anything under pressure. Got to watch the mate and ones. I feel like pushing this here creates a lot of pressure. Um, and hmm. Oh wow, that is actually really really sneaky. So I think that what you have to do is. You have to put your queen here as a sacrifice. He can't take. I mean, he could get pushed over, I guess. At which point, you're just going to lose anyway. But he'll take with the knight, because we have our battery set up here. It'll put that mating pattern in, and then we can just go ahead and push our rook right there for a checkmate. You have got to be kidding me. Let me, let me just double check this really quick. So, he can't take with his king. He can push this here. Okay. We go there. Now what? 
now he goes now he goes here like like what he goes there with his piece I mean hold up let's put this back here let's say I went there He takes, this guy would put this here. At which point. I don't see it. I don't see it. You know, like I, I, I'm confused. I, I really don't know what the wrong move is here. Pushing this, pushing this there. I don't know, man. Um, let's go ahead and play one quick game, um, and then I'll go ahead and call it. But that is just so bananas to me. I, I cannot believe that we ended up losing that game. Let me fix my... Um, I cannot believe that we just fucking lost that, by the way, because that was so stupid to me. He's going to push his... Bishop right there. I would have to imagine. But he doesn't, so I protect my knight now. Um, okay, so he's developed his knight. Okay. So now I want to go ahead and develop my other knight. If he pushes there... I think I still push there. Yeah. Kind of figured he might. Um... Okay, so if I take, he takes. Eh, kind of losing a piece here. I think I think the best move here is to probably do that. I'm gonna go there. And I'll go here. Yeah, I, I mean, if you know what the right solution is there in, in that puzzle rush, please let me know because that is some of the biggest horse shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, not that I've seen a lot of horse shit, but it's just baffling, baffling to me. So dumb. Okay, so you have to imagine that this bishop is coming. Have to imagine. But by putting our knight here, then it blocks that. And it allows us to continue developing our other pieces. <sighs> I'm so frustrated. <laughs> I mean, I, I really felt like I played it perfect, you know? I felt like I did a good job. And I, I didn't, apparently. Um, okay, so what now? I feel like if I take that pawn, all I'm doing is losing my knight. If I go there, or I go here, hmm. I'm going to go there instead. Let him take. Okay. Thing, I mean. <laughs> okay. So. I move it back. That is just the worst. You, you never want to do what I just did. And I just did it. So. Um, and that's just moving the same piece twice. You got stuck. Okay, so walls are caving in on us a little bit here. So I need to start making some some adjustments. Go ahead and push this here and take there. There you go. Probably, I mean, it doesn't. I don't like the fact that we have a you know a stacked pawn here. Not much I can do about it, though, you know? I think I'm going to develop here. Start making my way. Can't go there. Pushes here. I can... T there. Okay. 
I don't care. You want to take that? Go for it. Okay. So now I think I know, like, look at all my lines here. If I push there, that's probably a bad there. I want to develop this. I want to develop this uh, this castling over here. If I can get him to move that bishop out, um, I think that that would be ideal. So let's think. Yeah, I'm gonna push here. So he's got one, two, three. Okay, that's unfortunate. Really hoping he wouldn't do that, but did that. Okay, we have. I mean, I don't think castling is a good idea anymore. Castling just opens up all of this over here, and all of this over here is also destroyed. So castling just doesn't make sense uh, where we're at right now. Okay, that is horrible. I mean, why would you do that? Okay. So, I th think if I push here, trying to win this pawn, opens up this a little bit, gets more pressure. Take. I mean, if he doesn't take, I'm just going to take anyway. So, like, I feel like you kind of have to. Guess I could push here. No, I don't like doing that. Good. Now I take. If he wants it, you can take it. I'll take that. Okay. Now I think I'm going to push there. So I think I'm going to push here so that way he takes with this. Or, I mean, he could take with that. Um, and then... If he takes with this, then I take here. I mean, then he could take there, but that leaves him doing this with his king really kind of screwed him a little bit. Um, th there's just a lot of pressure happening over here on this left-hand side that I'm not sure that he fully understood. He, yeah, William Henry. A fifth? Oh, Jesus. A lot of you. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I I like our positioning, kind of a lot actually. Um, don't know if I agree with what just. Happened. So I think I just take, take the free pawn. It, I mean, his his knight is stuck now. Because, I, I'm gonna fork his two pieces here. He can't. He could move his queen right there, I guess. Uh, you can just see his side just collapsing over here on the left. Why well, you have to be very careful about like where you move all of your pieces, man. The fact that my bishop is still underdeveloped, he has not yet developed two of his pieces. So I feel pretty decent about that at least. And technically, I mean, three, because I uh, moved his knight all the way around the map and uh, back into its normal position. Okay. So, that was interesting. So, I think I go here. Take. He wants to take my queen. Now he can take my queen.
I'll take his queen. Here comes a resignation. No, no resignation. Okay. I respect it. Go here, put him in check. Okay. Where's the next check? Okay, there, go there. Don't want to put him in check again just yet. Feel like somebody's watching me. This. Put that rook under pressure. I've been playing a lot of chess on my phone lately, so hopefully it's paying off because I feel like it is. Um, you know? So here's my plan. If he moves this here, I put him in check. He pushes it back. I put him in check. Can't move. He must move there. I take his rook. So we'll see how that plays out. Ah, uh, that's not going to play out because he's got this right here. Damn it. <laughs> he's taking a while though, isn't he? Okay. So maybe the next best move is to go here. No, I think I want to go here. I go there. Now I can take. This guy's under fire really bad. So, let's see. Take there. But what did I just like have in my head? I had something in my head and I can't remember what the play was. Um I think it's time though. Put him in check. He takes here. I take there. Right? A. Now, ooh, that was close. I almost did it. I go there. Okay. Now, go here. Put him in check. Take his other rook. We're currently up ten right now. By the way. <laughs> I mean, I, I applaud him for putting in the effort because, you know, not easy. So, take that piece. He'll probably take mine. Take there. You know, it's tough. Uh, I mean, I can just start picking him off at this point. Go here. Okay. Go there, put this here, okay, this here, there's my next piece. I think he knows. At this point, it's just, it's checkmate. So. I mean, you have what you, it is. What it is. Um, I've been playing at way too high of a um, like puzzle piece rating, whatever you want to call it. Um, and a lot of this has just been, you know, playing a lot of the best moves as much as I can. Uh, let's see how well I did, though. I feel like I played a pretty decent game. Um, so our accuracy rating was 89.7. Uh, so I did actually do fairly well. No blunders, no miss wins, no mistakes. I did have two inaccuracies, three books, five good, six excellent, and 16 best. Um, let's go ahead and just like look at the review stuff. Okay, so looking through our next pieces. 
Okay, so that was okay. That was actually best. Now, I feel fantastic now because I spent a lot of time on that particular move. What was the best move here? Um, not the best. Tell me the best. Ooh. So it actually wants you to put that there. Which, I mean, okay. I, I guess I understand why it was like, yeah, that's all right. Okay. So that was actually best, which we moved there again, which is best. I am stunned. I am stunned that it allowed me to not have that be like a mistake then. Um, now it's okay. So that was the best move. We take there. That's our best move. That's actually an inaccuracy. We end up moving there as best, protecting pawns, protecting the knight from developing, um, to which we're like, I mean, go for it. I mean, you want to take us? Go for it. Um, and now... That that's okay. What would it like to do instead? Oh man. Okay. Um. I don't know. Okay. All right. So it actually says that this is an inaccuracy. This is probably one of those moves that I was a little unsure about what I wanted to do. If I had to guess again, it's probably this. What are we looking at? That's an inaccuracy as well. Okay. If I go back, what did it want me to do here? Maybe here? It looks like H4 is best. It's still calculating the stockfish. I'm guessing H4 is best. Like, solely, solely under the fact that, like, it's telling me it is. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So, we did an inaccuracy there. It thought that it should take. Um, it really wants me to move this piece right here, which is hilarious. Um, good. Okay. So, that's best. We take that's best. He moves his knight, which is horrible. We proceed on. That's an inaccuracy. That's good. Which I'm a little surprised by, okay? I am a little surprised by that. Because I guess if we take, he takes, we take, and then it's a very similar position here, um, the knight can escape now, though. That's the problem. And I don't want the knight to escape. I want to I kill the knight. So we take, which is good. It puts us in check. Which, what did I do? What did I do to this? I feel like I just pushed this here. Oh, no. I had that right there. Well, thank God for that. Um, so that gets moved up. Which now... We put him in check, which is best. I actually wanted you to go back there. That is now best. That's best. That's best. That's good. I want you to start developing that pawn. Putting the check there is good. Best, best, best. Okay. So what did we do now? I think what I did now was I pushed the queen over. Best, best, best. Oh, wait a minute. It wanted me to take there. Why? Why? I don't, I don't have to. Why would it want me to take? Why would it want me to take with the... I mean, then he's got, he's got this piece right here. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's much of a difference, really. I mean, he goes best. I take. He's, the game's like, you're stupid. And I put him in check, which was best. Put him in check again, which was good. Why there instead, though? I hear. I guess it's because it pushes him back, but I don't want to be on that square to begin with. I don't know. I, I don't. I feel like that's splitting hairs. Putting this best, he moves. 
now it's checkmate so there you have it as always if you like today's content feel free to like comment subscribe helps me out a ton but i'll catch you in the next one see you